Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things like playing on in the world of Transformers, I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel, and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. So as I'm sure you can imagine, there's loads going on, especially in the sales aspect, with it being Black Friday and of course Black Friday week. I've got a few things to show you, but also I've got lots of news as well, and we're going to kick off with this to be honest so this is great this is for anybody who has missed out on collecting um skybound's uh, void rivals so if you're thinking about getting on board with these or you've missed them um what it says right here and i've got this information by tfw 2005 you can see that is that issues one to six are going to be available for pre-order in amazon this is going to be the paperback collecting so it's all the issues one to six all in one book and it's going to be available in shops february the 21st 2024 so say if you missed out on the void rivals which is right there you can get them all together in one book okay moving on here are some of the crazy amazon black friday deals that i've picked up just a quick, quick screenshot of right there i think the most impressive to be honest is the evolution senate guard 35 dollars, which is an absolute crazy price considering how much it was when it first came out right this is again something that i don't really know much about but the more i see it the more i'm getting more and more intrigued and can't wait for this particular figure so this is legacy united's commander magmasaurus mode revealed so there you go there is all three of your beasts not combined to make a robot but combined to make just a huge huge beast it looks so so impressive um and i really do need to i suppose do my homework on that particular character because i can't wait to get that in hand right super seven reaction transformers beast wars burning red optimus primal has been found in some targets in and around the us so for those of you who don't know what that is or if you're after that particular figure there it is it's optimus primal but obviously just in the burning red colors okay something else we've got some in-hand images with the next transformers and gi joe crossover so this is the Soundwave Dreadnought. Um, I've got these images you can see from TFW 2005. I don't know what it is. I'm just really not excited by this. Um, perhaps it's just because I, I, I know I, I get a load of flack for this. I've just got no interest in G.I. Joe. Um, never had as a kid. Don't really have any as an adult. I think the figure looks good. I think obviously because it's Soundwave, um, it'll sell really well. I just think that this is a real consider at least 10 years after maybe 15 years in some cases it's just a poor man's in my eyes poor man's version of human alliance figures you know from literally the movie figures because um i've reviewed the bumblebee figure i've not done the hiss tank the bumblebee figure is just incredibly big basic chunky it's not too bad and this looks exactly the same there of course are the characters uh riding on the back but compared, I like the robot mode, it's not too bad I say, but compared to, um, there's the actual figures as well that come with it, but compared to what the Human Alliance figures were, they were borderline, again, mini masterpiece figures. They were so uh, well designed, uh, quite intricate transformations, and they just looked really good, whereas this to me looks uh, rather basic. I haven't got it on pre-order. I think what I may do for reviews for the channel is I may wait for it to get discounted like all the others have been heavily, heavily discounted and then perhaps that's when I'll have a look at it. But anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments. Am I being overly harsh or do you think it's the same? Right, this is something that's brilliant. Obviously, I suppose special disclaimer, they're not saying that everything everybody's going to suggest is going to be remade. But unfortunately, this seems to be only on Instagram at the moment. So Mark Lonus and BMAC, they've literally put posts up that is screenshots of the actual posts saying exactly this. If you could have any toy reissued as far back as Siege or even Titans Return or the Titan Wars, what would it be? So there's, I mean, there's hundreds hundreds and rightly so of comments in there people asking you know for legacy evolution ramjet because we haven't had ramjet yet uh green lights loads of sort of figures it's just great and it's good to see obviously that i think that they're going to be listening to it i don't as i say can't guarantee they're going to get them all there's mark Lona's post and there indeed is bmax post if you've got instagram and you don't follow them uh, please make sure you go over there and get your tuppence in as into what you want them to have a go at reissuing because you never know they just might do it okay here's some images of the new reactivate optimus prime uh, there he is with the sound wave he's completely huge compared to that sound wave i'm surprised how much 
I suppose, bigger, the fall of Cybertron Soundwave is. I've got that figure, it's great to be honest, but you forget, I suppose, how big it is. There's the Bumblebee movie Soundwave. There, of course, is the new war for Cybertron Optimus Prime, the latest studio series one. So this is, again, as I said, when we first saw this figure, it does look really good, um, and I have pre-ordered them. There, are, of course, Bumblebee Starscream. There, of course, the new Megatron. So there's some really good, I suppose, size comparison pictures here uh, to give us an idea of the scale of this particular figure. As I said, I have pre-ordered them. I do believe that they're coming out by the end of the month. So fingers crossed I'll be able to review them for you guys by the end of the month. More Amazon crazy prices. There is, uh, is it Nova? Yeah, Nova Prime, $38.49. Insane. <coughs> so that's a crazy price. And that's available on Amazon as we speak. Right, moving on. I've been on, of course, to some third party websites. This is Fans Hobbies Facebook page. This isn't computer generated images. This is in hand actual images of their um, take on, of course, Darkwing, which is a redeco. They've already done this mold. They've already used it, but with the uh, Japanese colors for the Master Force figure. So this was obviously used as Hydra. Uh, but this is, of course, the Hasbro Colors. Now, I was very, very impressed with their take on Buster. Um, really impressed, and I've still got that ready to do a video with Hydra when it comes, so I can do a full combining video as well. Now, they've updated it twice since I've had a chance to do a video, so we've got the jet mode, and we've got the robot mode. Now, what I really like about the robot mode is there's a couple of ways to display. So we've got the more traditional uh, wings down, I suppose, mode here, which is, that I suppose, that's how I'm used to seeing the G1 version of this particular figure. Whereas in a second, you're going to see the wings up, which for some reason is reminding me of the Titans, um, the Prime Wars trilogy version of him. Um, and again, these are masterpiece scale size figures, so they're fantastic. Um, and I can't wait to review it, to be honest. Not this one, the Japanese colour scheme one. Um, they look great. Um, I'm very, very impressed with Fans Hobby and what I've seen so far. There you go. There's the Japanese Deco one. Um, and again, both made by them. There's still more pictures of the Samurai Grapple on Iron Factory's Weibo. Dr. Wu's Weibo, again, has got more pictures of Inferno. Mine's arrived in the country, but not to my house yet. That figure there, Optimus Prime, is no bigger than a Takara World's Smallest Transformer, which is about the same size as an Earthrise Micromaster. So look at the detail on that. Can't wait to review that as well. And now we're talking about pre-orders and where you can get loads of these figures and how you can help me and yourselves out. So on Show's e website, you can sign up to be a member yourself. You can get points if you type Toys R Us into that barcode there, sorry, into that gap there. You can get yourself points and you can give me an idea of figures that you want me to review. Before we go any further showing, in fact, no, I'm going to show you these first and tell you something in a second. So the great news is for people who missed out, look, there is Star Toys take on Blitzwing back in stock. There's the new Age Arc, there's of course their, their third party version of Primus, there is some official products as well, there's the Lewin Optimus Prime which I'm really really tempted in which is of course is huge, there is as I say there's the grapple I was on about earlier, there's everything on here from third party to Takara Masterpiece to Bishuju to uh, 30 AMK, Yolo Park, loads of them. Don't forget to check out the flash sale pages as well because there's loads on there. So with regards to the channel, I've got a really big announcement to give you guys on Saturday. Can't wait to share this information with you. Really exciting times for myself and for the channel. Um, so can't wait to give you that news. And with regards to figures, I'm just trying to keep up with everything. We've got I've got New Ages Hammond, Blast Off from Magic Square has physically arrived. I've got the New Age little mini bots, Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. The Titan um, Omega Sentinel or the Guardian robot is on its way as well from in demand. Loads to look forward to, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.